we are going to see the new topic a distance between any two points let's see the formula a distance between two points the given two points p x1 comma y1 and q point is x2 comma y2 here they taking two points the distance between these points is given by the formula d d means distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square the distance between p q is equal to the distance between q p both the distance are equal that is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square the distance of a point p x1 comma y1 this is the first point from the origin origin is 0 comma 0 is op op is equal to square root of x1 square plus y1 square now let's see exercise 5.2 first one Find the distance between the following paths of points. The first question, two points are given 1, 2 and 4, 3. For these two points, we should find the distance. I am taking the first question. Solution, the first point is A, I am taking A, 1, 2. Next, the second point is, I am given the name is B, 4, 3. This is the first point. This one is the second point. Now I am going to find the distance of AB. So AB is equal to formula is square root of distance formula I have written. X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. Here listen. The two points I have taken in the rough column. The, what is the two point? The first point is 1 comma 2. Second point is 4 comma 3. So first point is denoted as this is X1, Y1 x1 y1 you are you know this one the first one is x value and two is y value so x1 y1 come to the second point this one you should write x2 y2 so x2 value is 4 y2 value is 3 now you should substitute here here x2 x2 is what 4 minus x1 x1 is 1 so 4 minus 1 the whole square y2 y2 is 3 minus y1 is 2 the whole square now you should simplify square root of 4 minus 1 is 3 square plus 3 minus 2 is 1 square is equal to square root of 3 square is 3 into 3 is 9 plus 1 square is 1 into 1 is 1 is equal to square root of 9 plus 1 is 10 so our answer is a square root of 10 units Second question is homework. Third question, A comma B and C comma B. Solution, the first point is I am given the name is P. P of A comma B. Second point is I am given as Q. Q of C comma B. Whatever the letter you can give. Now I am going to find the distance of these two points. The name is I am given as PQ. So I am taken this one as PQ is equal to square root of formula you should write X2 minus X1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Now you should give that one. This first point is x1, y1. Here second point is x2 is c, y2 is b. Here see that one x2, x2 is c. So c minus in the formula itself we are having minus x1 is a the whole square plus y2, y2 is b in the formula having minus. So you write as it is minus y1 is b b the whole square now you should simplify c minus a we cannot simplify so i am writing as it is square root of c minus a the whole square plus b minus b this is plus b this one is minus b when you simplify this one you will get zero that is zero square is zero is equal to what you will have this one square root of c minus a the whole square now see that one here square root this one square get cancelled you will get the remaining is C minus A units. Fourth question. 3, minus 9 and minus 2, 3. 
first you should give the name the first point name is i am given as a second point name is b then you should find the distance so a b is equal to write the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square afterwards for point you should give that one the first point is this is x1 this one is y1 so x1 value was 3 y1 value was minus 9 come to the second point here you should give x2 x2 is minus 2 y2 is 3 y2 is 3 now substitute in the formula is equal to square root of x2 value minus 2 in the formula having minus so you write as it is minus x1 value is 3 3 the whole square plus y2 y2 is what 3 in the formula having minus y1 value is minus 9 so i am using the bracket for this minus 9 the whole square once i will repeat y2 value is 3 in the formula having minus that minus i am written then y1 value is minus 9 for that i am using bracket minus 9 the whole square is equal to square root of minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 the whole square plus here 3 minus into minus is plus it will come as plus 9 the whole square is equal to square root of minus 5 the whole square minus 5 the whole square means here listen minus 5 the whole square means it means minus 5 into minus 5 minus 5 into minus 5 multiply this one you will get 5 5 is 25 minus into minus plus 25 you will get that one i am written here 25 plus 3 plus 9 is 12 square is equal to square root of 25 plus 12 square is 12 into 12 is 144 mm -hmm. is equal to square root of when you add you will get 169 169 is a square number so we can write this one as 169 is equal to 13 into 13 we can write in the square root two number same means we can take one number out that's only I am written directly. It is 13 units. Second question. It is a very important question. Uh, determine whether the given set of points in each case are collinear or not. The first one. 7, comma, minus 2, 5, comma, 1, 3, comma, 4. Here three points are given. Among these three points we should check it is a collinear or not. Solution, let the points be and giving the name of this point, here 3 point is given, the first point is I am given as A, A of 7 comma minus 2, second point is I am giving the name as B, 5 comma 1 and third point is I am giving the name as C, 3 comma 4, so we should give the name of 3 points, then I am finding that A, B distance, A, B Next, I am finding BC. Next, CA. First, I am finding AB, BC. Next one is CA distance I am finding. So, AB is equal to the distance formula. You should write square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. What distance we are going to find? AB distance. So, A point, B point. This is A point, B point. I am written in the rough column. Okay. Here you should give that name. That is what is that first point is x1. This is y1. This one is x2, y2. Substitute here. x2. x2 value is 5. 5 in the formula having minus minus. x1 value is 7. So 7 the whole square plus y2 value is 1 in the formula having minus and y1 value is minus 2 in the formula is minus y1 value is minus 2 directly i am writing so minus into minus plus 2 the whole square is equal to square root of 5 minus 7 is minus 2 the whole square plus 1 plus 2 is 3 that square is equal to square root of minus 2 the whole square is you should multiply that one minus 2 the whole square meaning is minus 2 into minus 2 so multiply this one 2 2s are 4 minus into minus plus 4 that one I am written here 4 plus 3 square is 3 into 3 is 9 is equal to when you add you will get 13 so 13 is a prime number we cannot take from the root so write as it is square root of 13 next I am finding the distances BC 
BC is equal to square root of the distance formula I am written. X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. In the rough column, I am taking that one as B point and C point. Because we are going to find the distance of B and C. So, I am written that B point and C point. Here, you should write this one as X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2. Substitute here. X2 value is 4 minus X1 value is 5 the whole square plus Y2 value is 4 minus Y1 value is 1 the whole square is equal to square root of 3 minus 5 is minus 2 square plus 4 minus 1 is 3 square is equal to square root of minus 2 the whole square is 4 minus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 3 square is 3 3 is a 9 is equal to square root of 13. This is also prime number you write square root of 13. Next I am finding the distance of CA is equal to distance formula you should write. In the rough call I am taken that C point this one is A point. Here you should give this one as X1 this one Y1 X2 Y2 substitute here X2 value is 7 minus x1 value is 3 the whole square plus y2 value is minus 2 minus formula is minus y1 value is 4 the whole square is equal to square root of 7 minus 3 is 4 square plus minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 the whole square is equal to square root of 4 square is 16 plus minus 6 the whole square is minus 6 into minus 6. 36 is equal to square root of 52. This one I am factorizing this one because it is not a prime number. So you should factorize this one. In 2 table it is 2, 6, 26. Again 2 table it is 13. 13 is a prime number. So you should divide in the table only. So 13 it is 1 times. Square root means what is that concept? 2 number if same means 1 number we can take outside. Here 2, 2 is there. So I am taking that 2 was out. The remaining is 13 is 113. That one I am written as inside the root. So answer is 2 square root of 13. Now see this one. AB plus BC is equal to CA. AB answer is you are getting is square root of 13. AB distances you are getting square root of 13. Plus BC distances you are getting is square root of 13. CA distances you are getting 2 root 13. Now see here. When we add this one, this is square root of 13, this one is square root of 13. So, root 13 plus root 13 is 2 root 13. You are getting the total. When we add any two distance, you will get one of the total distance. So, here you are getting. Therefore, hence these points are collinear. Collinear means here listen, I am taking one line and giving that name is A. Here it is B. This one is C. Okay. A, B distance is what you are getting. Here in the question is you are getting is root 13. B, C distance is you are getting is root 13. When we add this one, root 13 plus root 13 is 2 root 13. So total distance yeah, answer is you are getting is 2 root 13. That answer only you are getting. So concept of collinear is when you add any two distance, you should get one of the total of one distance okay so that is collinear second question a comma minus 2 a comma 3 a comma 0 solution let the points be the first point is i am given as a second point is b third point is c and given so how will you find this one is first to find a b distance next to find b c distance next you should find c a distance that concept I am using AB distance is equal to formula you should write square root of X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. Here we are going to find the distance of AB in the rough column A point I am written B point I am written. Here you should write this one as X1 Y1 X2 Y2 substitute here. What is X2? A formula having minus x1 value is a. So a minus a the whole square plus y2 value is 3. 
in the formula having minus y1 value is minus 2 so in formula having minus here y1 value is minus 2 so minus into minus plus 2 the whole square directly I'm writing is equal to square root of a minus a is 0 plus 3 plus 2 is 5 square is equal to when you add with 0 you will get the same number square root of 5 square 5 square is 5 into 5 is 25 this is a square number so you can take from the root is equal to 5. Next, you should find the distance of B, C. Distance formula you should write. In rough column, you write that B point and C point. Here, you should write X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Substitute here. X2 value is A minus X1 value is A. The whole square plus Y2 value is 0 minus formula you having minus no minus y1 value is 3 the whole square is equal to square root of a minus a is 0 plus 0 minus 3 is minus 3 the whole square is equal to when you add you will get minus 3 the whole square minus 3 is whole square is minus 3 into minus 3 is 9 is equal to it is a square number 3 into 3 is we can take one number out it is 3 Last, you should find CA distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Here, I am taking that C point, next one A point. Right here, this is x1, this one is y1. x1, y1 means this is the first two point. So, x1, y1. This one is the second point, x2, y2. Substitute here is equal to square root of x2 value is a minus x1 value also a the whole square plus y2 value is minus 2 minus y1 value is 0 the whole square is equal to square root of a minus a is 0 plus minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 the whole square is equal to square root of minus 2 the whole square is minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 is equal to 2. When you see this problem, A, B distances you are getting is 5, B, C distances you are getting is 3 and C, A distances you are getting is 2. So, we add any two distance. What distance we can add? B, C plus C, A. That is 3 plus 2. You will get that A, B distance. That is the total. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, the given points, that is hence the points are collinear. Students, this exercise 5.2, do it in your classwork note. Thank you, students.